Hello and welcome back. I wanted to start something a little different from my low IQ commentary, so I decided a rant series would work pretty well and that I'd have fun with it. But before I go on to my rant, I did want to ask a question unrelated to anything at the start of these for fun. So the question this week is, what song have you had on repeat this week? I've had No Children by the Mountain Goats in my rotation all week, so that's my answer. Anyways, on to the rant. Imagine this, you're a young person on the internet, you're bored and you you wanted to find a new hobby, you like drawing and you watch animations, you get the idea to create your own. You search animation app on the app store and find an app that lets you do frame by frame animation. You watch a couple of tutorials online and you jump right into it. You spend an hour or two cooking up your first animation, you're proud of it so you post it on YouTube. Then a few days later come to find out some 27 year old basement dweller who hasn't had a single creative bone in their body has thrown your animation into a cringe compilation ripping it apart. It's frustrating, you're getting hate for it, you ask the person to take you out of their video and they don't, and since you're young you don't know how to copyright this person for using your animation in full, so you delete the video and don't try it again. Well my friends, as upsetting as that is to see a young creative tour apart, that's what cringe culture actively partakes in. This is a topic I've been wanting to rant on for a while, so here we are. As someone who's been on the internet since I was younger, I agree created some cringe content in the past as well. Hell, I made Animal Jam intros up on this very YouTube channel until I was like 15. And while it was very much cringy, I gained a love for video editing out of it. I still will think of random editing ideas to this day in my day to day life that sometimes do just make me want to find clips from my favorite anime and go ham in After Effects. And while I wasn't the type who gave into like the mean criticism, needless to say, people still felt the need to comment, commenting about how my Animal Jam edits made them develop cancer during my early days of learning. But while I was rather unfazed because of the fact I was used to being the weird one, other kids might have not been so lucky that and even though I got comments, I was never really outwardly placed in like cringe compilations and that means I was one of the lucky ones. So many kids just trying to hone in on a hobby or skill are ridiculed and mocked because of these videos. But even worse, they're still very omnipresent to this day. Cringe compilations hating on young creatives because they haven't perfected their craft at the age of 11. I will never hold any type of respect for people who make cringe compilations revolving around kids and what those kids kids have created. If it's an adult being cringe and like making weird faces through a Baku Deku TikTok audio, you get a pass low key. But when it comes to children, oh my god, Chewy. But when it comes to children, they could be trying something new and still learning. I peg myself as a pretty decent editor who knows her way around After Effects pretty well. However, I didn't just manifest the ability to do that out of nowhere. It took me years to get to that point. It took me a couple years to get the like to the point that I'm currently at. A new hobby is like playing a new game. You're gonna be terrible at it at first. But as you learn the meta, the ropes, and mechanics, it gets easier. Imagine if you were learning a video game for the first time, hopped into a bot match, then had hundreds of thousands of people ridiculing your bot match, saying you gave them cancer, and that you should never try again because you're a brain dead ape with seven extra chromosomes. You'd be pretty discouraged, right? That's the reality cringe culture just creates for people who are just trying to be creative and learn something new. But Ren, they shouldn't be posting at all if they don't- But Ren, they shouldn't be posting it at all if they don't want to be blasted online. That's untrue. They should be able to post a badly done animation, edit, or drawing to get feedback and criticism, but respecting their personhood enough to tell them to keep going and not to end their lives. Hating is not the same- You want out? Hating is not the same as constructive criticism. They're not going to be good at it, but they'll get the motivation to be good at it. With respectful constructive criticism and feedback, I would have never learned what I have in editing if it wasn't for the internet and the helpful feedback it gave to me. To create is to be critiqued, but to be a critic is not the same thing as being an aggressive loser who's hating telling 12 year olds to go and die. I saw the comment, it's easier to hate than to create, and that's so fucking true. <laughs> 
if all of the people compiling children's animations and edits into cringe comps just gave animation or editing a try, they'd realize that it's not that easy. They'd realize that it's not that easy even for them as an older person. So for a kid, it's probably marginally harder as you have significantly less knowledge. Even other artists who create these cringe comps just aren't good people. Imagine being so insecure in your own art that you have to tear down young kids who are trying to create art. It's like hating on a toddler for not being good at walking as a 20 year old man. It makes no sense, you're just a god awful individual who needs to go to therapy for that insecurity you've built up. I think a more positive way to criticize beginners is to either leave a nice comment telling them they're doing good and what they can improve on, or if you have to make it a video, ask if you can use the animation first and then give constructive feedback. It doesn't rile up the audience, and they're more prone to leaving a kind comment with their own advice. It may take more effort to be nicer, but it's a way more effective approach and a better experience for the people on the receiving end as well. I also dislike the narrative that because something is viewed at cr as cringe, that means all the content made with that media is bad. It's such an inherently harmful blanket statement and garners so much hate even for the talented people taking part in it. Take Gotcha Life for example, something that I even used to make edits with, in fact, there's so many talented people who use Gotcha Life as a medium, story writers, animators, and editors who are just put down and ridiculed solely because they use Gotcha Life as a medium to create that content. I've seen some incredible art made with Gotcha as a medium, but since it's Gotcha Life, it's never given the time of day. And yeah, I said art, the act of creating itself is an art. While they didn't draw the characters, they used the characters to create their own art. Editing is an art, drawing is an art, dancing is an art, photography is an art, fuck it, even playing sports is a form of art. To simply say these people's creations and own works of art are invalid because of the medium they use to assist in the creation of that art is a disservice to those who put hours into making that piece and you're judging it because you find it cringe. Hating won't change the fact it's still art. Just because it makes you cringe doesn't change the fact it's art. Your judgment of someone's artistic medium doesn't make you superior, it makes you an asshole. Rather than picking on kids who are using a medium you dislike, go pick up a hobby instead. I feel like you can't talk about cringe culture without bringing up Leafy and the influence he had on it. So I am going to bring up Leafy and the fact that if you still think that you would support him now, you might want to check yourself. Uh, I feel like the way that he guided his audience to harass people that he found cringy and gave him cancer wasn't really the best thing to do as someone who did watch his videos and liked them growing up. I've grown out of it. It, it was senseless bullying and I do acknowledge that and I'd hope that a lot of people can acknowledge that because behaving like him is not something you should like strive to be doing. It's quite negative, it has a negative impact on everyone else, and I just kind of wanted to quickly add this in before I ended everything, so yeah. That being said, I think cringe culture has made too many people turn away. It's made so many potential artists turn away from art. Imagine how many Disney animators you discouraged because they were learning, you insulted them, and then they gave up. Imagine how many incredible musicians never found the motivation to continue because you kept hating on their learning process. Imagine how many future film editors were turned down and discouraged because you told them to end themselves because, because they had an alight motion watermark on their amateur edit. Instead of being the person who spreads hate, try to create yourself then come back and tell me how bad and terrible those kids are at that medium. Anyways, rant over, I'm Ren, I'm tired, and thank you for watching. Also join my Discord server or subscribe, all links are in the description.